real boring trading day, uh, but something of interest to me at least, uh, the S&P is up eight, trading 23.65, and it looks to me like it wants to go to this one month point of control right here at 23.69. The other interesting thing that coincides with that is the uh, Fibonacci that took us from the year all time high to the recent low here uh, just three days ago at uh, 23.17 and change on Monday that the 61.8 is right, it's, it's almost laying on top of the point of control. So again, we're just coming back into um, this zone that we should test and we haven't come back since we broke um, on the 21st. So month end, quarter end, it would make sense that we would try to come back to the scene of the crime uh, where we broke down from and uh, see what happens uh, back into this juncture. Now you can see the time we've been kind of spending in here is somewhat helping fill in the holes in here, but this is still not very strong structure. The ranges are very tight. As a matter of fact, I think the NASDAQ today is maybe 14, 15 points wide. So it's not even it's not even a quarter of a percent wide again today. Untradeable in my book for if you're a day trader. And uh, we really have, and the NASDAQ hasn't made any new prices today. At least the S&P made uh, new prices today. And um, just wanted to point that out. And um, we'll see what happens tomorrow on month, week, and quarter end.